Johnny Unicorn, and you're watching at, what's the Lansing Music TV? Lansing Music TV. Music career. I've been making music since I was 11, so I'm 31 now, so that's 20 years. Uh, but for the first 10 years of that, it was just kind of making noise, and uh, I wouldn't really call it music. Um, I didn't actually start deciding that I wanted to do music until I was 26. And this is my first tour. It's my first tour ever, so. Um, so, I don't know when the career started. I don't even know if it's a career yet, but uh, that's the goal. Lady has a ring around her. Wonder what kind of thing has found well, when her. I, like, Lady takes like 10 years ago, I wanted to start making music on my own, and so I was working hard to like try to find a band. And it was really hard to keep a band together, and then I ended up in this other band, which... Uh, was cool for a while, and then I started doing some other stuff, and I got sidetracked. And when I came back to it, I was trying to think of a way to start a band, and um, then I realized I could just play music by myself with my keyboard, providing backup tracks, and so I just did that for a while, and that turned into my thing, because uh, people seemed to like it, and uh, so now that's what I'm doing. That's, that's what has defined my live sound, is this keyboard backing tracks with guitar and uh, whatever other instrument I'm playing. Uh, as far as like recording, I, I just want to, I, I kind of want to cover every genre possible. Uh, but I do a lot of progressive rock, and but I also do rap and country and folk and uh, electronic and minimalist and jazz orchestra and whatever. A, one record that was my inspiration, like one album? By another artist. Uh, well, that's that's hard. Um, I think uh, they might be giants. Second album, Lincoln, was like I think one of the best albums ever made, and uh, they kind of pretty much do everything, and uh, that sort of that. And also, when I was 12, I was introduced to Frank Zappa. Uh, absolutely free, and he kind of did whatever he wanted, uh, made whatever mistakes he wanted to make, and didn't really care about what anybody thought, and uh, that was a huge influence on me, and uh, also Weird Al Yankovic, all of his albums. I knew one, I got a new album out, it's called Sweet Edith Matthew, and it looks like this. Uh, <laughs> why don't you get a close-up of that? And uh, that's, um, this is my new album. This is uh, one that I started recording five years ago and just finished. Um, there was like a four-year break, so it wasn't like I was working on it for five years. But uh, this is music I wrote like when I was 19, and um, now it's finally out, and I can get out of my head. And, uh, you know. That's, that's my current album, and I'm working on two more uh, that should be coming out in the next year. As I'm writing, I put it in a queue, and um, uh, I've got... So I've got these two albums that are half done being recorded, and then I've got two more albums that, I'm, that I've written that are going to be recorded in the future. So there's always like four albums in the, in the queue. I just need to, to write and record to get out of get it out of my head. Otherwise it just bangs around in there and distracts me from you know, whatever else I'm trying to do to make a living or whatever. She's murdered by a stranger and she's far away from danger. Well, a friend of mine introduced me to those guys and they're just really nice guys. And, uh, like, the music that they play is not the kind of music that I normally listen to. It's, uh, it's, they're influenced by a lot of bands that I'm influenced by, though. And so we can, like, sit down and share all these musical connections um, like Tom McCord is really into the Beach Boys which is like I, I think one of the best bands and he introduced me to Cheap Trick and um, you know a bunch of stuff the cars <laughs> uh, 
and uh, I mean we like a lot of the same music uh, but I don't listen to a lot of hardcore punk or um, uh, 90s stoner rock I, I'm not sure exactly what the, this, um, the genre is but I, th I think one thing that's very similar is that we all like to have a lot of fun and be entertaining on stage and um, and that's what uh, like their their audience is very similar to my audience and that they want to be they just they want to have fun and they want to see a show that's going to be you know fun to be at so that's um, that's another similarity when she was younger when she was younger um well, you can expect a full spectrum entertainment. Uh, it's going to be uh, lots of uh, lots of different kinds of music. I'll be playing a rap song. I'll be playing a country song. Going to be doing some uh, sing along, crowd participation, uh, some psychedelia. I yeah, I think it's important to um, have the crowd be uh, be um, what's the word complicit <laughs> uh, or be uh, involved in the in the creation of the show uh, because then they'll walk away knowing that they did something I mean I think anyone who's listening to music is a musician already just by uh, I mean if you're gonna take in a sound and like try to create some sort of understanding in your brain then you're then you're being an artist you're being creative so I like to uh, I like to bring that out in the performance, and I also like to just goof off and and uh, improvise and just do whatever I feel like. It. <laughs> 